cholesterol is like any other fat or lipid that's a more scientific term it's like any other fat that is present in your body so mm -hmm. let's just not fear about the fact when we talk about cholesterol it is a very important part of your body it is produced by the liver inside the body and its normal levels are absolutely essential for the normal function of a human body cholesterol in a normal range is absolutely essential for proper functioning of human cells or our body only when the cholesterol level rises then it starts forming plaques the more common term would be blockage small blockages in different blood vessels of the body and that those blockages say for example they the blockages produced resides in heart it causes heart attack there we need to panic it causes strokes can cause a paralysis of one half of a, of your body and more commonly the most common uh, you can say the impact of high cholesterol and most of us even the younger generation people are suffering from is high blood pressure the technical term being hypertension lipid profile test is basically advised to check the cholesterol levels of your body which comprises of total cholesterol ldl vldl and hdl ldl is low density lipoproteins hdl is high density lipoproteins vldl is very low density lipoproteins now you must have heard there is something called good cholesterol and there is something called bad cholesterol what is good cholesterol now the good cholesterol is normally measured by the total cholesterol level plus the hdl level so in a common term you can say hdl is a good cholesterol whereas ldl and vldl you can say they are bad cholesterols why because they tend to get deposited in your blood vessels and they form plaques which ultimately results in the obstruction of blood vessels a very simple test is done that is called lipid profile test that is done by drawing your blood and testing the levels of different kind of cholesterol so this lipid profile test it comprises or rather it measures the level of triglycerides in your body the level of total cholesterol in your body and the breakups like the levels of ldl vldl and hdl so good cholesterol that is hdl the more the better you should have at least 45 anything more than that anything more than equal to 45 of hdl is good for your health now the bad cholesterol triglycerides and vldl or ldl anything more than 120 is harmful for you the lower the bad cholesterol the better it is for you so anything less than 120 is decently okay for you what about the total cholesterol the total cholesterol level should be less than 180 mg per deciliter even 180 to 200 you can take it as borderline but more than 200 yes you need to get alarm first thing is you consult your physician you don't need to panic that is very important you definitely need to work on your food habits you need to have a decent degree of physical activity and at last if required say for example if the ranges are very high of different levels of cholesterol then you need to resort to medicine the good food few examples are walnuts oats garlic and in in indian kitchens most of the time the oil and ghee the kind of oil and ghee we use we need to cut down on those things and say we resort to uh, some cholesterol free oil say for example olive oil now what are bad foods the common habit that is picking up in young india is junk food 
that is one of the worst things for raised cholesterol levels other examples of bad food are egg yolk ghee butter these are common examples of bad food so you need to cut down on the bad food and resort to good healthy eating habit by resorting to few examples i gave for good food